In this episode, we are going to add master checkbox component, which will allow us to toggle multiple checkboxes at a time. To start with, we are going to add a new mixing. So under the mixings directory, we're going to create a new view.js file called a multi handler. And here we are not going to have any templates. Uh, we are going to have some data. We won't have any properties. For data, we are going to have just items, which will be represented by an empty array. After that, we are going to have mounted. And from within mounted, we are going to call this register custom listeners. Let's add this method. And now we are going to use event bus and we're going to listen to the event represented by this listen property and this listen property is on the base input you may remember we have this listen here because this new multi handler mixing will be used with the components that make use of this base input so we are listening to this event if this event is triggered then we are going to execute the callback function and callback will take an item and check if item has remove flag set to true then what we're going to do is call this remove method passing the item through as an argument we don't have this method so let's quickly add the method stop remove it takes item and we'll deal with this in just a moment else if item value is present and our internal this items collection doesn't include an item value then that means that we should add it to this collection so this items push and we push in item value after all this we are going to call another method called this evaluate and evaluate will be just an empty method within this mixing and it is an empty method. It will be, the implementations of this method will be provided from within any component that actually makes use of this mixing. So from within the remove, what we need to do is to make sure that we remove the item from our items collection. So this items equals this items, and we're going to filter them. And we're going to have an element. And if element, does not equal item value it can stay otherwise make sure that it's not being returned with the filtered collection okay so our mixing is now done let's now save and close this file under the checkbox let's create a new view file we are going to call it master check box and let's quickly register it straight away on the components so if i duplicate last line it's going to be master if we just go here master check box input and that's going to be master checkbox dot view okay if we save and close it now from within our master checkbox the first thing i'm going to do is to import two components so import base input from and we're going to directories up base input and the other will be our multi handler which we've just added from and that's going to be one two three four five directories up mixings and multi handler okay let's register them mixings within the array base input in multi handler then for the properties we are going to have total we need to know how many checkboxes in total there are visible on a page so type will be number and required will be set to true then we also although our base input contains the fire method uh, property uh, but this property by default is set to false and on our master checkbox we need to have it set to true so what i'm going to do is copy this and set it to true as required for the data we will have two properties first will be checked and by default it will be set to false and the other will be indeterminate the 
indeterminate and also sets to false by default. What this indeterminate one is, majority of browse, browsers support the checkbox status indeterminate, which is rather than being checked, it will be like with the minus symbol, meaning that not all of the checkboxes within the group that this main master checkbox belongs to are checked, just some of them. Okay, so for the methods, we are going to overwrite, provide our own implementation of this evaluate method we've created earlier under the multi-handle. If we open it, you remember that we've just provided an empty method stub. So evaluate, and this method, what I want to happen after this event has actually been uh, triggered and all our items have been filtered accordingly, what I want to do then is do this checked equals check the length of all items so items length triple equal symbol this total which which would indicate that all of the items have been selected if number of items within the items collection equals total number of items then checked should be set to true and in other words our checkbox will be checked for indeterminate we will only set it to true when the number of items is less than total but also more than zero so this items length is more than zero and this items length is less than this total now, as you can see, we are calling length on this collection of items three times within this single method. So rather than evaluating it three times, perhaps it would be better if we created a constant called length and associate the length of the items with it. And now we can replace it. This time we only have to evaluate it once rather than three times. Now let's add one other method called update. And this method will simply use event bus again to fire the event associated with this fire property and the value associated with checked will be sent as a payload of this event. Okay, so now let's have a look at the template. Now, template, we're going to start uh, with our standard div, uh, which will show, so v show when the show property is set to true. Class checkbox group item, then we're going to have class computed wrapper CSS class as well as style computed wrapper CSS style inside we're going to have our input and again same things as before type this time is going to be checkbox as well uh, we're going to have ID represented by identity then we have name then we'll have disabled is disabled we have auto complete. We'll have indeterminate. And we need to have prop on it because we need to set this as a property of this input. And it's going to be taken from this indeterminate property. Then we have class input CSS class. We'll have V model as well, internal associated with the checked property of the data block. And then on change, we want to run update method. That's our input. Now for the validation, again, we're going to use the slot because we may have it, we may not. We may have validation above the checkbox, so however we want it. So it will be replaceable, but by default, we're going to use validation uh, with label taken from a label with id taken from the identity we'll have name from name we'll have show only when show validation is set to true css class will come from computed validation css class we have validation coming from a validation property and errors from the error and that's everything within our master checkbox component. Let's close all these files and open our checkbox file because now we need to add some listeners for those events triggered by the 
master checkbox. So first of all, I'm going to add call to the register custom listeners from within the mounted section of the checkbox component, and I'm going to add this method. So register custom listeners. First thing I'm going to do is to check if this listen has any value, and if it does, then I'm going to use event bus to listen to the event associated with it. So this listen. And once it's been triggered, I want to execute the callback function, which will take checked coming from the payload. And here I'm going to do this checked. I'm going to set it to whatever we received with the payload. So checked. And then I'm going to call this emit fire event. But rather than calling the method on the parent base input mixing, I want to provide my own implementation, which will overwrite it. And from within this implementation of that method, I am going to start with base input. We are going to actually call the method on the base input methods. We're going for the method name and call method to invoke it. I'm passing an instance of itself to it as a first argument. And the second argument will be the value that I want to send with the payload. So value will be this true value. So whatever we want to emit uh, when the checkbox is checked and remove flag will be set to this checked, but the exclamation mark. So if it's checked, we don't want to remove it. If it's unchecked, we want to remove it. So basically the opposite of what the checkbox status is actually being set to. Okay, and after this, I will also want to emit the value to the wrapper. But this time we're going to use native view emit method, we are going to use input for this purpose and this value to emit property. And if we now recompile all the assets, so npm run def, and if we now go back to the editor and have a look at the view file, you can see that I've already created a structure under the multi checkbox index plate.php. I've added the master checkbox, which we've just created, the name master, total items three. I only have three rows in this table. We have listen to the select single event, which those individual checkboxes actually are firing, and fire, select multiple, which those individual ones actually are listening to. We have true value, which we want to set with each of these individual checkboxes. So now if we preview everything in a browser, if we go to multi checkbox, there we go, that's our list. If I toggle them all, you can see they are all working. If I check just one, you can see we have this indeterminate status here, another one, and if I select the last one, that should change to the checked checkbox. Everything seems to be working fine. And if you preview everything within the view console under the events, if I select them all, you'll see event for each of these checkboxes has been triggered as well as select multiple for the main one. Uh, if I uncheck it, the same thing happens. If we have a look at the payload for the single select single, you'll see that when we uncheck them all, remove is set to true value to the value associated with the given checkbox. If I check them all again, if I select one of these, you'll see remove is set to false this time with obviously the same value for the given input. And if we now try and have a look at the values on our master checkbox inputs, we have our items property. There we go. We have three items selected. If I uncheck it, you can see the items array is empty. If I select just one, two, they are all being added as I check them.